Hi everyone, this is Andy with Blong.com and in this video we're going to do a quick overview of Zoho Click. This is a chat application for Teams that comes with a lot of features. All right, let's get started. When you open Zoho Click, you start in the remote work section where you can see who is currently online and working. In this company, we don't use remote work. That's why you don't see anyone else here. But if you do work remotely, you can use this feature. Also, you can turn off this feature if you want and I'm going to show you how to do it later on. On the top left, we have this button that you can use to turn on or off notification sounds. Then we have the search bar to search for anything. Then we have the quick action button. And on the right, we have other buttons like start messages, mentions. Here you can set reminders. Then we have the marketplace where you can find extensions. And finally, we have our profile icon. On the left, we have the navigation bar where you can see all the modules. As you can see here, I'm on the chats module and I have some chats on red. To open a chat, just click on it. And in this case, this is a sales team channel where you can see all the messages. Zoho Click integrates with Zoho CRM. That's why we have some automated messages coming from Zoho CRM. To close a chat, you can use the X on the top right corner or just press escape. You can open multiple chats in one window. You just have to open the chats by clicking on them. So I'm gonna open this one as well as the next one. And now we have the chats side by side. You can open as many chats as you want, but you're only gonna be able to see up to four chats in that view. To send a chat message, just click on the box here and start typing and then just press enter. But you can do all the things like attaching files, either from the computer, from the cloud or more. You can also type slash and this is gonna bring up all the commands and there are a lot of them here. And then with this icon, you can start a voice call, a video call, or a screen share. Then here we have all our fun stuff like sending emojis, stickers, and GIFs. Over here, we have our markdowns. So for example, if you wanna send a message in an H1 format, you can just type pound in front of the message and then Zoho Click is gonna format it to H1. And these are all the options you have available. And then up here, we have a search icon to search on this chat only as well as this icon that's going to allow you to start a video call, audio call, or screen share. And then with this one, you can turn on or off notifications. All right, so let's move on to the next module. It is the contacts module. And here you can find all your contacts as well as add new contacts. These are all the current contacts I have. And you can see the current status of the contact based on the little icon next to the picture. We have some green icons. So that means that that contact is available. And then some yellow phone icons. That means that that person has the app installed on their phone but they haven't been using it at least in the last 15 minutes. And then we have one contact that is in do not disturb, meaning that if we send that contact a message, she won't get any notifications. In channels, you're gonna find all your organization channels as well as your personal channels. Channels are different than group chats. They have more features and flexibility and you can set up integrations and automations to add information to the channel. In the history tab, you're gonna find all your history organized in a chronological way. Then we have files where you can see all the files that you have sent or received. So if you're looking for that file and you don't remember who sent it to you, or maybe it was a file that you sent, you will be able to find it here. And then we have other modules that we're not going to cover in this video. On the very bottom, we have this button that you can use to turn on or off dark mode. All right, let me show you a couple of more things. If you click on your profile picture, you can see a lot of more features. Here you can change your status, and we can also find our profile and settings. These are our personal settings, so it will only affect us. These are not organization settings. So you can change your general settings, like your layout, emojis, and more, as well as your notifications, the themes, and then we have the personal information up here, and then status, where you can turn on the schedule do not disturb that will put Zoho click and do not disturb in certain hours of the day. And then we have meetings here. And the last thing I wanna show you is the admin panel. Here's where you're gonna add your users, create teams, change configurations, change roles, make any changes to the customization, and also set up some integrations like with Office 365 or Zoho People. And you can do other things like export data or create reports about remote work. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please leave a thumbs up. Also, let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. I'm going to leave an affiliate link in the description that you can use to try out Zoho Click and also Zoho One. Thanks for watching.